Good afternoon, everybody. This is April Schultz from the Madison County Public Library and Steve Parsley, also from the library. Woohoo! I apologize now in advance. I'm in a weird mood today. It might get interesting around here. So, anyway, um, we've got, I don't really actually have any new announcements. There's only one thing that I, I wanted to share. We shared it on our Facebook page last night, and that was that um, J.K. Rowling and Pottermore have released a free service with Harry Potter at Home. And I think that that's like different activities and things like that that all have to do with the first Harry Potter book. And they've also announced that the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, if you're in the UK or just outside of the US, um, is available for free with like, I don't know how long, um, on Overdrive as well as on uh, Audible, I think, as well. So that's cool. That's very cool. So you are going to teach us how to do what today? I'm going to teach you how to make natural cordage. Natural cordage. Oh, and okay, for our viewers who saw this on Tuesday, okay, I, I'm just going to, I apologize yesterday if you saw me through the whole broadcast and I look like this, very orange. My theater training has taught me that if you're blind because the light is in your eyes, you're in your light and you're where you're supposed to be. Well, with this, it's the opposite. You need to be over here or it's not in your eyes. And so I just, I was, I was in my light all day yesterday. <laughs> you know, where I was supposed to be. So um, I am going to teach us or attempt to teach us how to make whipped coffee. This is something that has been all over my newsfeed lately and a lot of other people's. What's really interesting is the coffee itself is whipped not like a whipped topping. The coffee is the whipped topping. When you put the whipped coffee over top of milk. Oh. I, yeah, I don't know. You want one? I do. <laughs> Very much. I think maybe I should have one. Does it have caffeine in it? I want it. I think I've probably had enough already. Um, so, okay. For those of you who are tuning in, I want to reiterate I, um, our previous announcements. Um, also want to give you a reminder. We have Wi-Fi access outside of the libraries. Do not use it as an excuse to congregate. Please, we want you to stay healthy at home, but if for some reason you need internet access, you can still sit in your car outside of the library. Within certain hours, I believe that they are 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I might be completely off base about that. But I know that you can sit outside, at the very least while they're open. Um, and access the library Wi-Fi. So if you, and I, if, when I got here this morning, there were actually people that were outside doing that. Um, and they had social distanced themselves. I was very proud of them. I feel, like, I feel like a patronizing mother or something right now. Like, you know, I've noticed people driving uh -huh. and actually spacing out. I think it's starting to get ingrained in people's heads. But I thought that was just people you just safe use. driving. Well, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> But, but yeah, um, I, I've noticed just people are putting more space between them and their cars in front of them. Well, it's, it's become ingrained in, for me anyway, for me to, to space my, to separate myself out from people. Like I went to the grocery store, I don't know, the last time I went, and um, I would, you know, if I, would got, if I got to the part where like it was time to get milk and eggs, and there was somebody that was standing there. I just pulled over to the side and just waited. And then they went past. And then I came over there and I got my stuff and mm -hmm. you know got kept as much distance between us as possible. Yeah. Um, so I think it's starting to I think it's starting to really hit home. But please, this weekend it is supposed to be gorgeous. Please, 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 please practice social distancing. I live near a ball field, and the other day when it was really really gorgeous outside. I came home and I heard people cheering at the ball field. I was like, now granted, they may have been spread out. It's a, it's a big football field. But guys, you can't be doing that. So Chris <laughs> got Christian with that one. But anyway, okay, so book drops are closed. It may take longer to get your holds, but we do have new materials that are coming in every, most days. So we still, we're still circulating things that are on the shelves. Um, but the, um, 
the items that are being returned are going into quarantine so that this is a safety measure for you and for us. So again, it may take longer to get your holes. Seed Library is, go is active. I almost said live again. I don't know. <laughs> I've got to stop saying that. Uh, but our Seed Library is online. No, it's not. I'll stop. Um, but you can email us. I told you it was in a weird mood, guys. Um, but you can email us to get your seeds, and then we can figure out a way to get them to you. Um, our digital services, check those out. Also, I want to draw your attention to our website, which actually, I could go to our website. No, no, exit. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Um, hang on, I'm trying to do this backwards. Oh, that's my family, y'all. That's fun. Um, we were at Universal Studios outside of the Monster Cafe. And um, so you can see, uh, anyway, so you could, so we had an opportunity. So this is what I want to draw your attention to. This thing right here, this purple bar at the top of our website, it, there's a link right here at the bottom where you can get updates on our shutdown, on our services and different news to do with our, our updates. So I encourage you to check this out these are some really great um, services and great reminders for how things work. If I get the information wrong, you can double check it here. Also, you, this way you can get updates for where we are in the process. Just a reminder that as of yesterday, we do not have a reopening date. At this time, we are closed to the public indefinitely um, and while we are in the middle of this crisis. Um, so you can access all of our different online services. You can apply for a library card. Let's see if I can get you, get you there. Um, there's also some great services. This is way better than what I did when I was trying to show you the screen and it was backwards. This is way better than that. So if you go down here to the very bottom, ask a librarian. This will connect you it is not a chat feature, but it will connect you to where you can call or you can click here to ask a question via email. It's not a chat feature, I wanna reiterate that. But this way you can, if there's something that we cannot answer or it's outside of library hours, which right now are nine to five, um, you can contact us via email that way. And you can ask a question if it's something that you don't see the answer to on our website. You can, uh, you can again ask there. So, but here's like where you find, the, these are some of our services, um, but here's where you find some of those digital services that we were talking about. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go back to our PowerPoint. Uh, slideshow. Oh, dang it. This is hard to do from here. What did I do? Oh my God, April is still a grandma. There we go. Anyway, so, <laughs> you're laughing at me. <laughs> I can't do this. I swear I know how to use technology, but it does not do, it does not appear that way when I get in front of other people and try and demonstrate it. It's like trying to type with, some, with your boss looking over your shoulder. Yeah. Suddenly you forget what words are. It's, it's annoying. All right, so, Steve, why don't you get us started making cordage, and while you do okay. that, I'm gonna go get the supplies that I need to make whipped coffee. All right. So oh. I can come over there. Okay. He's gonna come to you. All right. Even better. So we we had a the 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 other day we did a gorge for fishing, and one of the things we used was just regular old thread. But if you don't have thread, if you don't have fishing line. You can make it. What I have right here is some yucca that I got just down the road from my house. And one little strand of it, I don't know if you can see that, one little strand of it is fairly tough. I mean, I, I can pull hard enough to break it. It's not, it's not that tough. But when you start braiding it together, and I'll show you a technique called reverse twist, when you braid it together, it actually becomes really strong. I have a piece of this at home that was braided about seven years ago, and it's still pop.
pliable and pretty tough. Um, you don't find a lot of yucca in Kentucky. It has become naturalized. Um, but one of the one of the things you can find readily is dog bane, which is a type of um, milkweed. And if you if you look it up on that technology that April struggles with Bleh. on a regular basis, the jugal. Look it up on the jugal. Um, you can see what it looks like. Dog bane is extreme <laughs> is extremely tough uh, makes great cordage i've seen ropes like 20 foot ropes made out of dog bait but i'm going to just real quick show you the technique and maybe you, right here is not the place to do it maybe over this dark colored table so i've got these two little pieces here that i i just took that yucca and just twisted it fed these out of it. So I've got these two little pieces. And I'm gonna take them right about center and twist them up so that at some point, when you bring the ends together, it's gonna to naturally wanna make a little loop. That's good right there. So it kinda of jumped into that loop. Now that I've got two, two sides here, two sides here. The trick to this is the reverse twist. So I'm gonna take this, these two pieces that are closest to me and I'm gonna twist them away. So I'm twisting them this way. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna lay it over top. And now I'm gonna take these and twist them away. And what this does, this cross twist like this, it helps lock it together so that it doesn't just come undone. So you just give it a few twists, bring this pair over top. And what you're gonna end up with is something that looks like that. And see, it'll, it's just gonna stay twisted. You don't have to knot it or anything. It'll stay twisted. You can use that for fishing line. If you want it smaller, you can use just one strand and bend it over and twist it. I'm gonna show you how to add a piece into it. Because eventually, you're going to run out of length going to run out of material and you have to just keep adding to make it longer. So what I'll do is I'll just take one piece and I can double it over if I want so that it stays relatively the same thickness. I'm just going to come up here a little bit and lay it along there. And now I'll just twist it in with this one and cross over. You just keep doing the same thing. Twist it in, cross it over. Twist it, cross it, twist it, cross it. And you just keep going that way. And I'm gonna just keep working on this while April makes that delicious caffeinated beverage over there. Well, it'll be caffeinated. <laughs> That, that, whipped, that whipped caffeinated beverage. All right, I have to remember that this is my cup that I have drank out of, so we're not gonna use that. All right, so in order to make whipped coffee, you need, this might not work well enough, but this is a battery operated frother. It might just froth the coffee, but we'll see. No, oh, it was doing its thing. Um, this is some instant coffee that I happen to have. It's uh, instant espresso, no less. So like I said, it's gonna be caffeinated. It might not be good, but it's gonna be caffeinated. Um, a spoon, you need a tablespoon measuring cup, uh, measuring spoon rather, some sugar, 
And I'm going to actually do this in, I've got the hot water in here, I've microwaved it for about two minutes, so it's good and hot. Um, from what I understand, you take two, I'm gonna try to do this without, my, without burning myself. Normally, you would wear gloves. I meant to wear gloves. Steve, if you drink this, you're taking your life into your hands, and I'm not making light of anything that is going on in the world. See, I just touched my hair. So you're really, you're taking, do, not, do as I say, not as I do. So um, two tablespoons of hot water. This is for one serving, so I'm gonna actually double that. So four tablespoons of very hot water. I'm gonna add a little bit extra because some of those were not quite um, full. So there's that. Well, I don't have a towel to dry this off. Like I said, it's gonna be caffeinated. It might. As long as it's a caffeinated mess. It is a caffeinated, it'll be, it'll be a caffeinated mess. Ugh. I should have got a smaller spoon. Actually, I probably should have prepared better. I'll see if I can One. Uh. Eh. Okay, guys. Listen. The na the I didn't even mean to click that. Um, do, 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 slideshow from current slide. There we go. We're back to that. Oh yay! There, good. And look, it's in a it's in a disposable package, so it means it's sanitary. I hope. This is. I don't even know what to say, y'all other than this is interesting. I think I'm only gonna add two tablespoons because I don't wanna like, I don't wanna be like motor oil like Brandon's coffee. Mm -hmm. He apparently makes it like motor oil and only has one cup of coffee a day, but it's all espresso. So you were saying that this is uh, like an internet thing right now? It isn't, everybody's making yes. quick coffee? Yes, I was very confused by what was happening exactly. Oh, that is some messy mess. Well, okay. Like I said, you take your life into your hands when you try and eat and, and drink this. Is oh. that sugar? This is sugar. I'm gonna add Yay, some sugar to sugar. it. Oh my God, where's the thing to open it? There it is. I can't even operate bags today, guys. I am in very sad shape. Okay, this is my personal sugar and my personal, I'll just wash it. It's fine. One, two, since I doubled it, I'm gonna do. That's a Cuban coffee. It, it is, I don't, I don't know what that means. Very, very strong and very sugary. Okay, so when I was, uh, when I was about 15, I went to Israel and um, we had Turkish coffee. And it was very similar. It was very strong, very sweet, teeny, teeny, tiny cups. It was yeah. amazing. It was some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life. It's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna attempt this. I'm hoping I didn't get coffee all over myself. All right, that is as high as it goes. I think my batteries are dying. I really hope not. Oh, it's frothing. We are getting froth. Whoop. We are getting froth. I don't know how long I have to do this to get actual whipped coffee, but all right. Well, while we're doing this, how are you coming along on your cord? Good. I've got about, uh, I don't know what that is. Six inches, five inches. You can see where it gets a little thicker right here. I added some more in and just twisted it all together. 
I'm going to take some of this and separate it apart. Make some more. Keep adding it in. So you can see it's not a super fast process. But if you have you know, a little time, you can you can listen to Harry Potter you could. online and make yourself some cordage while you sit there. You don't even have to really look at it once you kind of get going and know mm -hmm. how, it, how it feels. You can just keep going. And what, okay, so the other day we made we made a gorge and you said that you looked it up. What did, oh, it, what was yeah. it, what did it mean? So gorge, it is in reference to um, the esophagus. It's, I guess it's an old English term. Okay. For the esoph esophagus or the esophagus, esophagus. esophagus. the uh, um, crop on a chicken. Okay. So just that particular. Gorge. Yeah. Yeah. So just that throat. Um, so I guess ultimately, it is a gorge hook. Yeah, I it guess gets so. caught in the gorge, um, which is where that term came from. Okay, I think this is about as frothy as it's going to get. I'm going to get a shot of this. That's as fr I think it's as whipped as this is going to get with this particular tool. I think I need new batteries. Um, okay, so do you want to try this? You Heck yeah. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> supposed to turn off and it sped up. Oh, uh, okay. So, let me use this. I'm going to pour some. Pour some of this hot, leftover hot water over that. Let's look at that. Cleaning up my dishes. Not really. Okay. So, I'm also going to pour this in here. This is just water. Bring it out so I can pour some milk in there. Okay, so then you just pour some cold milk in there. This is 2%. It was in the refrigerator a few minutes ago. That's the reason it's not coming out in clumps. Yes. Yes, so there's that. And then I'm going to use this and I'm going to spoon some of this. It's wow. It's somewhat frothy. Yeah, that's it's a, not that's pretty. That's a lot like cubing. It's not pretty, but it's... I don't know, it depends on... I guess it depends on your definition of pretty. In the, it kind of looks like a mixture of like Kahlua and Bailey's. That's pretty. Yeah, that is actually very pretty. <laughs> All right. Here you go. This one is in fact clean. Yeah, I'd watch... Oh, right you're right, you're right. Social distancing. You're right. Okay. I'm going to be in my light. Thank you. Cheers. All right, you're welcome. Eric, what does my husband and I do from the last man, last man alive? Or you, you clicky, and you can't break eye contact while you drink. That's not terrible. Oh, that's really. Actually, that's pretty tasty. I, like that. I am it's yes. It's interesting having that cold milk. Uh, yeah, at the bottom, come up problem. through the. You're supposed to stir it up, but I kind of like it as it is. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, that was a pleasant that was surprise. An well worth trying. Well worth trying. So now we know you can just use things that you've got around your house to make whipped coffee, as long as they're instant coffee, milk, and sugar and water. <laughs> I uh, guess uh, it, a spoon and frother. <laughs> you, know, you know, all of those are those, those those minor things. Like I said, guys, I'm in a weird mood today. So make this. Before you make that. And that will go so much and faster. That will go so fast. <laughs> yes. You'll just be. <laughs> so, all right. That is what we've got for today. We will see you tomorrow. Do not forget, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m., we are doing preschool programming for uh, read aloud and play. Uh, Wednesdays are focused on babies and toddlers, Fridays are focused on older toddlers and preschoolers. So, we will see you tomorrow. Clinky. Love you, mean it. Have a good day.